You're listening to this week's episode of the Vacation Rental Business in Today's World podcast. You're about to start transforming your business and life with the information found here. We interview some of the greatest and most influential minds in the vacation short-term rental industry and supporting businesses. The information found here is a combination of brain science, transformational thinking, safety and loss prevention, and vacation short-term rental knowledge and experiences all rolled into one to help you and your business to achieve levels you never thought possible. I am glad you are here, and now please welcome your host, Eric Thibodeau. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Safer VRs. I'm Eric Thibodeau, your host. I hope you're doing well. And today I wanted to share a brief introduction, if you will, to inattention. And it's a continuation of, in the gold standard, the level three around how our identity and subconscious mind basically impacts how we work and how we think and how it affects us each day. And as part of this introduction, I'll just start off with uh, a little story that I had. So here, once again, I'm in Alabama this week and I was watching the news, you know, I think it was Wednesday morning, sometimes Tuesday morning. And there was a story about the guy who got hit walking along Interstate 10 here in Alabama. And they gave a little bit more update on the story. It says that the guy had exited the vehicle. He was a passenger in a vehicle. The driver and him were arguing. So he asked the driver to stop. He got out and walked alongside the road and somehow walked into the traffic lane on I-10, was struck by a vehicle and, and fatally injured. And so when I thought about that, and I know this whole part about how we work and how we look at subconsciously, I couldn't help but think about how that, how some of these actions came to being. And, and when we look at, when we have inattention and a lot of what we do each day, or when we run into situations that cause the opportunity for a situation to arise or a situation does arise, inattention typically shows up. And it's a brain-based function. It's part of being human, part of who we are at the identity level, in essence, because we all experience inattention. And there are times and situations where inattention, you know, comes up. And typically, it's driven by four different things. And I'll go through these here. But I wanted to provide this inattention kind of introduction because I wanted you to think a little bit about you and your life and how you may be experiencing inattention. Because it's one of these things that maybe we're not aware of. And so now that we're aware that inattention comes up and how are we understanding how that's impacting us in our daily life? So in this particular example, and I don't know the individual and I don't know any circumstances around it, but I'm just drawing conclusions from it, is that there are four things that cause inattention. There's rushing, there's frustration, there's fatigue, and there's complacency. Rushing, frustration, fatigue, and complacency. And over the coming weeks, I'll cover more of this as we get into it. However, I couldn't help but think, right, that for this particular individual, everything starts with a thought. So there was a thought in this discussion that triggered him in some way, whether it was an intentional or unintentional, I don't know. But in our lives, things trigger us that then cause us to have some type of emotion that takes us back into it now affects how our what our actions are, affects our results. And so here we have a situation, once again, not knowing this said th- there was an argument. So you could imply that, hey, there was frustration. There could be fatigue. There could be we don't know about complacency here, but I mean, you think when we exit a vehicle on a busy interstate, we should be fully conscious and thinking about, hey, there's traffic here. However, we understand now that things trigger us. And when we become, we have inattention that's triggered by some type of thought and our emotion to that thought. Now we begin to experience rushing or frustration, or fatigue, or complacency, which are the four main 
drivers that cause the inattention and that impacts how we, what our actions are. And I think that in this case, this situation could be where this frustration caused him to not be clearly thinking. There could be other factors. However, I just thought about how innocuous this shows up in our lives every day. And same thing in vacation rental, in how we work, we experience inattention, okay? And that inattention is more than likely driven by one of these four factors of rushing, frustration, fatigue, and complacency that then trigger some thought that drives an emotion, right? That now affects our decisions, that causes or allows us to have actions and the results we typically may not intend to have. So our thoughts and how our subconscious mind and who we are at the identity level, right? Our identity level is who we are, what we are at the very core of our being in our subconscious mind formed years ago. And sometimes these, you know, factors here, anytime you're triggered by something, there's some, something in your past that's basically in your subconscious that's saying, Hey, Eric, I don't like this. You're going to react to this in this way. And it happens almost automatically. And so I encourage you to, over the next week or two, think about what triggers you, particularly when there's inattention or just what triggers you and then why are you triggered, right? There's no, when you are triggered, it's something that you are doing, right? There may be some external factor that's causing that to happen. However, you are in yourself choosing this emotion, right? Because we could also choose not to have that emotion. However, our subconscious is now taking over and causing us to move in this direction. And this greatly impacts safety in our businesses. Inattention is a big cause of safety issues in our business. Whether you're in vacation rental or general industry, doesn't matter. This is one of the causes. And now if we can dig into that and take a look at why are we experiencing these issues, I would imagine in the vacation rental industry, every situation is different. But a lot of times, particularly when we're in busy season, we're rushing to move from one job, from one property to the next. And this could cause inattention that's triggered by rushing, that we've built some pattern that says, okay, now I have to hurry up because I have to check four properties today, or I have to clean five properties today. I'm behind. Now, that inattention, that thought that triggers this emotion that's built into us, right? Never intended for us to say, I'm in a hurry. I'm going to do something incorrect. Mistakes happen, right? This is part of inattention. This is why we're focusing on that. Now this is causing us to have this thought that has this emotion that drives a decision. I'm frustrated. I'm behind. I'm trying to catch up. Maybe if I skip checking some things, you know, I don't check the the gate to make sure it's secured in the back. I don't check the sliding door alarm to make sure it's there for the pool. I don't check the smoke detector or smoke alarms. I don't whatever, fill in the blank. I don't do a good job checking under the beds during housekeeping. I don't whatever, fill in the blank, housekeeping, safety, inspection, how we drive our business. This is really important. And I focus on it in the area of safety because this is what we're talking about in Safer VRs. However, it applies to all of how we operate our business. So over the next week, we're going to cover, over the next several weeks, we're going to cover more about how we operate in level three. Remember, everything is about, are we aware? Once we're aware, we begin to understand And once we understand, we start to experience the knowing of a situation or an event or some thoughts that are driving us into a direction that we don't want to go. And we can cover later about also about how we can rechange, rewire our thoughts through neuroplasticity. The brain is an amazing, amazing tool that we can use instead of letting it work against us. Let's learn how it really functions and help us to improve our business and safety in all aspects of how we work. So I encourage you to think about this, to consider what triggers you, what thoughts or emotions, and how is inattention through rushing, frustration, fatigue, and complacency entering into your work and possibly even your life. So go out and create a safe day. I appreciate you being here. 
take a look at uh, what we're doing in uh, www.safervrs.com and also in the vacation rental safety, you know, Safer Vacation Rentals Facebook group. And we also have our paid group that we have training and information on all of this in safervrs.com. And we provide it through the Awakening Vacation Rental Safety Facebook group. So I'm glad you're here. Go out, create a safe day. Look forward to talking to you in the future. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Safer VR's podcast with Eric Thibodeau. If you enjoy this, I would love you to join my Facebook group, The Safer Vacation Rentals, for more of the same. You can also join our email list at www.safervrs.com. 